I'm going to demonstrate one of the uh, very useful tools for geometry that runs on the iPad. This is a free app available from the uh, iTunes store and it's called Geometry Pad Plus. It has a very very simple interface as you can see on the bottom uh, there are drawing tools uh, working with transformations. There's a built-in calculator, the ability to take measurements. You can put text on. Uh, you can create points, angles, lines, rays, segments, etc. as well as, as create special types of triangles as well as a general triangle, various types of polygons, and circles where you can uh, illustrate various theorems with radii and chords. You can also take your result, uh, that's entering text here, um, you can also take your result and save it as an image, you can email it, um, and also specify uh, how you want the, your geometric object to act with regards to the, uh, to the grid that you see. You can also control whether or not you actually see the grid uh, right here. I'm going to go in and create a polygon. Uh, actually, I'll create a triangle. This is one of the things we often do in our geometry class is try to show uh, that medians are concurrent regardless of what type of triangle you have. So I'm going to just draw any old triangle here. Uh, nothing special about that. It's not isosceles, not a equilateral, it's not a right triangle, although it certainly could be. Um, let's choose median. and You can see that up in the upper left hand corner it gives us a little hint to tap tap an origin vertex to create a median. So I'm going to tap on B, and there's the median. I'm going to tap on A, whoops, I guess I have to reselect that. Median, A, median, C, and as you can see uh, the three medians intersect in one point. You can demonstrate um, as well Remo taking one of these vertices and just moving it and then watching what happens if it whether or not it's still concurrent. Another thing that I've been doing uh, a lot with my classes is talking about transformations. Um, in particular uh, I can illustrate reflections. Uh, you'll notice there's a line here. I can move that line I can then illustrate flipping across the line. That's a reflection. I can talk about translations. With translation, I would simply move one of the vertices and uh, the entire object would, would end up being translated by that amount. Uh, I can talk about rotations. And of course I can